All right, so Mike Perry comes out and fights Luke, and I wasn't terribly familiar with Luke, in in fairness. And with Perry, on the other hand, of th something's happening. Whenever you see Mike Perry, it could be an interview. He's dropping sparring sessions like on the internet. I mean, what's the big, now there's something, there's just always something happens. He saved a turtle a few weeks ago and filmed it with like his iPhone, but it was great. It was really entertaining, but it's always like this with him. His walkout, his, there's, he's one of these guys. He just has the it factor. If, if Perry's on TV, something's happening. Something is happening. So he goes out and fights Luke A. And Perry hits him right off the bat. He he sets him up and he comes through and he hits him with a cross right where you don't want to get hit, right on the cheek, right on the jaw, and even steps through with it. So it wasn't just a punch where he put his, but he steps through and changes. It was about the hardest shot of the night. It was, Luke acted like it didn't happen. And right then is when I sit up and go, whoa. Something's about to something's about to go on in front of us here, and um, yeah, sure enough, the whole fight was like that. Luke took these shots. It turns out Luke wanted to fire some back, and he did. And Perry took those shots. I mean, this this fight was a mess. It was the most action packed, hardest punches both ways. You would be impressed how hard each guy could punch. And then you were impressed with how hard of a punch each guy could take. It was a mess. This fight was a war. And when I was watching it, I couldn't hear the crowd. I just couldn't hear the crowd in Uruguay, in Uruguay reacting and coming to their feet. And, you know, we got a we got a Bonner and Forrest classic on our hands. I just wasn't hearing that. And I was thinking, okay, am I just not hearing that? Or are they not giving them, is, is the crowd not seeing what I'm seeing? And by the time the fight was done, I mean, they'd want everybody over by then. The announcers finally got it. Everybody weighed in. I don't know who got fight of the night. I'm making this right after the show ended. They must have got fight of the night. It was, it was one of the best fights. It was one of the best fights of the year. I would go that far. I mean, this thing was a mess. And the whole fight ends and Perry's nose was, it wasn't just broken. It, it, was, it was squished, right? But that's Perry. Perry, he, does, he doesn't, he's just not going to stop. And Luke at the very end was on the bottom, but he had this guillotine choke and he'd opened a cut on Perry. So now he's squeezing him, right? So this blood's pouring out. And uh, it was just this, it was just this incredible moment. And Luke couldn't get his elbow down and his hip. He couldn't get it in the right position. So then finally Perry pops out. Then Perry starts with the ground and pound with like seconds winding off the clock. It was back and forth. I, re I really didn't know who was going to win, but I thought it would go to Perry. Like, if you were to ask, hey, Chet, who won the fight? I thought Perry won the fight, but I didn't know. It, it was one of it was just one of those fights where you're not going to claim screw job. You know, whatever happens here happens. But I thought that Perry had won. And it, went, it ended up being a split decision. It went to Luke. But it was incredible. It was absolutely incredible. And, you know, it's, it's one of those things with Perry. I'm still in that term, the it factor. You know, that, that's, a, that's a term that Simon Cowell made famous on American Idol, where he was talking about people, he's going, look, it doesn't matter, you know, how good of a voice is really important, the way you perform and the way you dance and all, but the bottom line is you either have an it factor and everybody's going, what does that mean? I'd never heard the term before, but I feel like America had never heard the term before. And he, go, you just either have it or you don't. You have where people want to stop what they're doing and look in your, or you don't. And, uh, I mean, Perry's got it. He's just got it. And Luke A., to his credit, beat you know beat Perry. Maybe Luke can get a little bit of shine, but it, it was one of those matches that um, who cares? Three weeks from now, I'm not going to remember who won that fight. When they go book Mike Perry in another fight, I'm going to mark it on my calendar and make sure I go watch that fight. It was just one of those deals. So, see where Luke goes. If, if anybody missed the fight, I would strongly encourage you to uh, go get the app over to ESPN Plus and check it out. But it, it literally. Uh, I got a short-term memory, I must admit it, but it, it, it's one of the best fights I've seen, I would say, probably, I, probably of, of, of all of 2019. Luke versus Perry.